Uh, I have been leading JICA for the past two years, and then let me start with the uh, difficulty for Japan to uh, process the people. The they ask me quite often that uh, why Africa, and uh, of course the, the biggest difficulty is the distance. It takes uh, 15 hours or so, well you can come here by three four hours. So the Africa is for you like uh, Southeast Asia for Japan. Then uh, that distance means uh, uh, a lack of uh, knowledge and lack of interest and so forth. Uh, uh, but to overcome these uh, kinds of handicaps, Japan has been hosting the Tokyo International Conference on African Development since 1993. They actually, that, that was a real starting point of our African engagement, except for a few countries. So this is, uh, we, we cannot compare this with uh, France or Britain or even Germany or even China. Because China has a long tradition of uh, uh, the relationship between the third world countries or uh, socialist solidarity and so forth. But we were, uh, Japan was treated as a kind of honorary white in South Africa. So the Japan's real engagement started after the end of uh, uh, apartheid. And then in, uh, it all started in 1993. Uh, for every five years. That had been a kind of uh, 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 Africa Awareness Week also, uh, frankly speaking. But last year, we had uh, uh, Ticket 6 in Kenya, Nairobi. Uh, the first one in, held in uh, Africa, which was a big success, I think, I can say. There I found the uh, two positive changes on the part of Africa. One is uh, the rise of the well, uh, good leaders who understand the situation of those respective countries, what they have, what they do not have, what they need, and then uh, trying to listen to the advice from other countries, and then having uh, trying to create a good strategy for development. And second point, which is related to the first one, was that the, there are uh, many countries are. Uh, uh, re relying less on resources. So that they have uh, suffered from the uh, sharp drop of resource prices many times. And then now uh, they are trying to uh, make more industrialization rather than relying on resources. That's a very positive development, I think. And in the recent uh, uh, past, I think uh, the resourceless countries are making, generally speaking, better progress development than resourceful countries. And then uh, our approach is uh, we are somewhat responding to this. The, uh, our approach, Japan's approach, is uh, uh, focusing on uh, the, uh, such areas like agriculture, public health, education. These are the traditional areas, which are the same for uh, the uh, Southeast Asian countries. And also, this is uh, our own experience in Meiji period, we focus on public health, agriculture, and so forth. You know, uh, everyone needs food. But one of the weak points for African development is that they need, uh, they, the, the living cost is relatively high. So they cannot take advantage of the low uh, living cost and then uh, taking advantage of the uh, comparative uh, uh, the, the, the comparative lay, low, lay, low, low labor costs and then trying to make export. That is not, has not been done in Africa. So why don't you start with the uh, improvement of uh, agriculture? You may know probably the NERICA. That's a, a contribution to Japan. You know, now uh, we, have, uh, we can see many countries eating a lot of rice. In Senegal, for example, people eat more rice than young Japanese people. And then also, uh, by the way, uh, in now uh, one of the most difficult thing in Africa is uh, uh, the refugee from South Sudan to uh, Uganda. And then in northern part of Uganda, uh, the thanks to the contribution, assistance from uh, Ugandan government and people, there is uh, uh, almost a million uh, refugees. We are, we are supporting them by uh, teaching how to get rice, you know, by uh, uh, giving the, uh, teaching the technology of rice production, we are trying to uh, make them stand up. Anyhow, the, the agriculture is one thing, 
And also, uh, one thing which was very successful in the last DECAT meeting last year was uh, IFNA, Initiative for Nutrition in Africa. You know, not only food, but food should be something with a very good nutrition. And then it was uh, very well ac accepted by the African people in uh, Nairobi. So uh, we are now promoting uh, this one beyond Africa. You know, there are countries uh, where people do not have enough nutrition, but there are many countries where people have too much nutrition, and then and this is very important. Uh, this is related to public health. In public health, uh, Japan has started a system of a mother-child health handbook in 1948, and which is a small handbook. Every woman is given when she found herself pregnant. And then on which is a very, almost all the important data are written, uh, such as when you, she was found pregnant, the, how heavy a baby was, what kind of shots are given to them. And then this is, uh, we, are, we are promoting this one in Asia, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, and also in Africa too, in several countries, uh, which are quite successful. This can be a basis of uh, public health. And then uh, we are also supporting the uh, education, both in the primary education and higher education. Uh, therefore, uh, ideally, we are really willing to provide a mother-child health handbook and then supporting, providing them a basic knowledge about health in uh, uh, kindergarten or elementary school. And then uh, uh, hopefully we can provide a school feeding in the school. And then, uh, uh, as I said already, agricultural production is very important. Hopefully, let's make it and uh, create a value chain so that they can export it to foreign countries. The, this kind of rather comprehensive approach is what we are thinking. And we are trying to uh, persuade the African leaders. We found that uh, they are, if they are uh, willing to understand this uh, uh, necessity. Oh, by the way, in the area of uh, public health, you know, uh, one of the Japan's contribution was uh, you know, Odyssey, which was very useful to prevent malaria. And then uh, I think it was widely used through uh, UN and other organizations. Uh, uh, still, I have to say that Africa is very far. You know, uh, we are trying to uh, promote the interest of uh, small and medium-sized businesses in Japan. Uh, in Japan, 99% are the small and medium-sized businesses. With, uh, uh, many of them have, have uh, a lot of innovative ideas located in uh, local areas. So we are trying to promote them, uh, asking them to go to foreign countries, first to Southeast Asia, where they are going quite a lot. And then now some of them are coming to Africa. And then uh, up to the uh, last ticket meeting, in uh, 2000, uh, last or the one before last, the, the business which had interest in Africa are the trading companies. Uh, they have a lot of interest in uh, resources. But now we are trying to mobilize more of the interest from small and medium-sized businesses to create uh, something. Something small is okay. But so that you can, the people from Africa can export and then create some money, and so that they can create their own businesses. Uh, for these purposes, uh, we have a couple of things as the tools of this. Uh, for example, uh, JICA has been sending uh, volunteers, JOCB, Japan Overseas Volunteers. The first of the JOCB was started in Ghana and Morocco, this country, and then this year, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the JOCB in Morocco, which has been very successful. And then they are, uh, of course, uh, communicate the people in a local area, learning the languages. So they uh, are very good at uh, uh, developing the very good uh, contacts between people to people. Not only that, they can bring some uh, ideas about uh, the industry, export industry, and so forth. Yeah, one of them is, uh, I, I'll conclude, is, uh, you know, we are trying to invite more students from Africa 
uh, by the name of Abe Initiative. Abe is not Abe Shinzo. This is the African Business Education <laughs> Program. <laughs> and then uh, two year teaching in Japan, and then uh, including some uh, internship in the businesses, which will uh, connect strengthen more of the relationship <coughs> between African businesses and Japanese businesses. Thank you.